Hi, I'm Ted Price, founder and CEO of Insomniac Games, and I'm here with some tips and tricks for Fuse. One of my favorite aspects of playing Fuse is pulling off Fuse weapon combos. There are almost 60 different combos in the game that you can achieve by working together as a team. Here's an example of a simple combo. Izzy crystallizes a bunch of enemies. Jacob fires the arc shot into those enemies and triggers a flare burst. This gives both Izzy and Jacob lots of points, but we can take it a step farther. Izzy crystallizes a bunch of enemies with her shatter gun. Naya triggers a chain of black holes, which then shatters the crystallized enemies. What this does is create the vaporize bonus for both Izzy and Naya. This is Doug Sheehan. I'm the lead gameplay programmer on Fuse here with some uh, pro tips on echelon mode for you to help you survive and not just get owned. Very first thing to do, use your skill points. They are going to be the biggest thing that saves you in this game. Once you get those, you can do a few things to help you and your team keep on going and get further into echelon mode. First one with Dalton, use both your shields. You have a drop shield and the mag shield to use and you can set up shield forts to really help your team out. So then there's Jacob. Use the map to your advantage. He's got a trap function for a reason. You can drag enemies, they'll chase you around a lot more in echelon mode than they do in campaign. So find choke points, set up those traps, and when you get enemies that come in, pop that explosion and just let all those guys melt. It'll help really help you out with taking down groups of guys all at once rather than having to sit there and let them fire at you. I'm Joel Goodsell, lead designer from Insomniac Games. I'm gonna to talk to you about an innovative feature in Fuse called Leap. The Leap feature is the ability for you as a player to jump into any character that's not being played by another human at any point you want. A really useful situation for a leap is when you're in a really, really, really tough fight and you'll find yourself pinned down and surrounded. Well, you can immediately actually leap out of the character that you're in, kind of save your butt a little bit by uh, leaping to another character, or find yourself in a slightly more advantageous position. So let's say you're facing a boss. One of the best characters to be when you're facing a boss is Izzy, because Izzy can drop heal beacons for the entire team and keep the entire team up, even under some of the most extreme insta-down attacks. She can also drop a heal beacon on herself. So if you walk into a boss and you find yourself playing, you know, Dalton or Naya, there's times when you're gonna wanna switch over to Izzy and, you know, just keep everybody alive for a while.